Професор Шехтман, во Македонија ќе одржите две предавања. Првото предавање е на природно-математичкиот факултет со наслов Технолошкото предприемништво клуч за светскиот просперитет и мир. Второто предавање е предвидено да го одржите во Македонската академија на науките и уметностите. На што конкретно се фокусирате во овие предавања и што е важно за вас? Israel economy is based on high tech. Most of what we sell around the world is high technology. Israel is a very poor country in resources. There is nothing in the ground. It's a dry country. But we have one thing which is very important, and this is the most important natural resource, human ingenuity. Because you can develop it. Human ingenuity has to be developed. We have to invest in education. Education is job one for every country. Invest in first in small children and then in universities invest in education. Education is job one. One of the other operations that I did over time was the following. I asked myself how can I convince young people to like science and technology? And my answer was teach science early. The mayor of my city calls me from his car. He heard me on the radio saying that. He said, Danny, you said early science education. How early? He said, teach science in kindergartens. He says, really? Will you do it in Haifa, my town? I said, do you pay? He said, I will pay. And we started a wonderful program. I encourage other countries to do the same. Really start teaching science. This is not only knowledge. This is also education about free thinking. No nonsense. If you understand the world around you and you learn how to ask questions, people will not insert nonsense into your head later on. Во време на економска криза, за време на пандемијата со COVID-19, но и понеа, дали конечно станавме свесни за улогата на науката за светот да биде подобро место за живеење? Health. Health. We are all, all around the world, or almost all around the world, in, in, especially in developed countries. We are healthier, we live longer, and we live better lives thanks to health achievements, medications, vaccinations, and health services. In my country, Israel, I don't know how it is in Macedonia, but you can tell me, everybody is insured. Everybody has health insurance. Everybody. If they can pay, like me, we pay. If they cannot pay, they don't pay. But they get the same service. Everybody. So this is also uh, very, uh, very important. We still have problems in the world. Pollution. We still pollute the world. And the solutions will come when we learn to better harness the sun energy and the wind energy. We have the technology. It's just a matter of investment in infrastructure. The more we invest in infrastructure, the better is the chance that we will have a clean world. So these are just a few examples. Во едно свое предавање порачавте на студентите дека треба да бидат одговорни кон себе, да не дозволат да бидат работна сила за исполнување на туѓите соништа. The dream of becoming an independent owner or startup person is not only a matter of money. Money is a byproduct of a successful startup, but it's a fulfillment of one desire to be independent and to be successful. And many people are like this. They really want to be independent, not work for other people, work for themselves and succeed in it. So this brings them a lot of satisfaction, and if they are successful, also money. But really, money, money is not a, the issue. Money is a byproduct. Most people who open startups and succeed are happy about themselves. So, because they satisfy their, their desire and went through a diffi difficult time, it's not easy. And, and this is why um, becoming a, uh, an owner of a startup company is also self-fulfillment and indeed satisfaction and happiness, which is a very important part. 
of opening a startup. You satisfy your desires, your need, and you appreciate yourself better because you are successful. Vi blagodaram profesora Šehtman za intervju. My pleasure.